So I've been playing a lot of retro games in 2024 and I, I couldn't be happier. It all started earlier this year when uh, my PlayStation 3 died. I just went to go and record some footage on it uh, and it just, yeah, just didn't work. So I had to get myself a replacement and I couldn't afford one which could play the PS2 games, one of the big fat uh, backwards compatible, a uh, PS2 backwards compatible uh, consoles. So I, I got a slim uh, and I just started to enjoy playing PlayStation 3 games again. Um, I made a couple of videos uh, on that uh, and they did, they did really well uh, generally. I talked about some PlayStation 3 games that I'd really recommend. Um, and I've been having a lot of fun this year playing a lot of PlayStation 3 games. Of course, what you can do on the PS3 is play PS1 games, which is great, but it didn't play PlayStation 2 games. But this has started me off on a whole path of uh, kind of retro games. Um, I've always talked about retro games, obviously. I did a TV show many years ago with Larry uh, called Guru Larry's Retro Corner uh, and was a part of that. Um, so I've always enjoyed retro games and I guess uh, the games that were then really current, uh, like the Xbox 360 games, uh, are now maybe uh, considered retro. Um, so that just goes to show how old I am when <laughs> you've been through pretty much the majority of the generations that there are. Uh, and that's been one of the great things, I guess, about being an older person like I am. Um, the fact that you can appreciate the different generations. And I got to experience everything from 8-bit to 16-bit and the, the, the leap to 3D. Uh, the, the PS1 just blew me away when I first saw that. I made a really good video about that. Um, well, I say good. Uh, one about the PlayStation 1. Please check that out on my channel if you have. Um, and yeah, really thanks to my last video, which really surprised me uh, about my uh, getting an Xbox. Um, and that was kind of um, my most recent purchase, although it's not now. Um, but this Xbox um, is another console I've really enjoyed playing. Of course, the Series X has some backwards compatibility, but just uh, just so many games that just weren't uh, aren't playable on either the Series uh, X or the Xbox 360. So getting one of these meant I could play games like Path of Neo again, for example. Um, and I've always wanted to play Star Wars Obi-Wan, as I've mentioned before. And I'm sure I'll talk about it again, but this one is great because it means I can, st I've got, it's got a hard drive, a 500 gigabyte hard drive. Uh, and it means I can literally put my discs in, uh, put them straight on the hard drive. And I don't have to worry anymore about like, you know, space. So I have actually thought about putting, I might show a quick glimpse uh, of putting a lot of my games actually in the loft, just storing them on the hard drive and then putting them away, um, you know, just so they're not in the way. Um, I've only got so much space. I've only got a tiny little uh, place to live. It's like a cardboard box, but bigger, slightly, with some stairs. Um, anyway, so I, I just got fed up of modern games. You know, that's the reality of it. You know, um, I can't really remember when I last played the Series X properly and the PS5. Um, the last time I played it was for backwards compatibility even in itself. So I um, played uh, Dark Souls 2. So I played that for the first time and completed that on PS4. Uh, and after that, I remember, I, did, I, I, I call it post-Souls Syndrome. Um, after playing something like a Souls game, I just, everything else just doesn't seem fun. And the only way I could find enjoyment in things was not, uh, or what's the latest game coming out with whatever season pass or downloadable content you get if you pay an extra £30 or whatever. There wasn't anything coming out that I thought that really grabs me. Um, so you look, I look back. Um, and there wasn't really anything, you know, that had recently come out that I'd, I bought a few games and I played them a little bit and, you know, I just, I just wasn't enjoying myself. And it all changed when I got the, as I said, when I uh, went to record something on my PS3 and I started playing PS3 games again and thought to myself, why don't I just play these more? Why don't I just play these more? So that led to, to numerous purchases for the PlayStation 3. I bought so many games, honestly. 
a ridiculous amount of games. I've showed, um, I, I, think I've, I think I've showed some of the ones that I bought. Like I got Demon's Souls for the PS3 for the first time. Um, as I said I, before, I'll probably show little bits of gameplay footage here and there as I talk about things. Um, but I'm just going to show off a few other things that maybe I, I, I purchased, which has been uh, kind of costly. Um, one, one thing, and um, because I've mentioned before countless times, I really missed just sometimes being able to play a PS2 game on the PS3. I got this. So this is obviously a PlayStation 2 Slim. But you'll notice it's got this big thing that says FMCB on the front, which is, uh, is it what, a magic boot or something? I, I forget what its name uh, is, Larry told me. But um, essentially what it does um, is it allows me to um, play games from this little tiny USB, which I don't know if you'll be able to see. Yeah, very, very small. Uh, and it means that I can, again, I can get my games, put them on this USB um, so I don't have to keep changing discs. And again, it, I've got so many PlayStation 2 games, honestly, too, too many. Uh, and so just not being able to play them on the PS3 was, you know, uh, made me sad. So I got this and I also got this PS2. Oh, there we go. PS2 to HDMI adapter. And again, it means that I can play games in PS uh, in uh, in HDMI. Because again, I, I just couldn't afford one of the, the backwards compatible PS2 ones. P, you know, PS3 backwards compatible, when I can talk. Uh, PS3, uh, that's big fat PS3, it's backwards compatible with PS2. Wow, I always struggle saying that. Um, but anyway, I, 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 I just, they're so expensive and they're a ticking time bomb in my experience. I've had three, three of them. And I just, I just refuse to, to be burnt by that anymore. So I got this. Um, and it's and it's great because it means again I can just put my PS2 discs in there uh, and I can record footage again. So um, I showed a bit um, of the Outrun thing. So I actually got this before I got my Xbox. Um, but again, this 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 whole journey has been uh, PS3. Uh, oh wow, cool! Remember how great older games were? Yeah, let's play loads of um, Xbox 360 then as well. And remember, you you want to play some PS2 games? Yes, I do. Uh, well, then we need a PS2, so I got this, and you know, it's really cute. I really like it. It's so small. It's I just, honestly, when I got it, I was like, "Well, it's, that can't be the box with it in because it's too small." And it it's just so it's so cute. I I, I really like it, and uh, it's hard to show off. Um, I don't know if it looks any good on here, but it looks great in real life. And again, being able to play games on HDMI is is absolute uh, is is wonderful um, on PS2 because I didn't know it was possible. It's only when I started to look it up, I was like, wait, you can play PS2 via HDMI, and it does require power. Um, uh, it does require power, like a mic. That's a a mini USB uh, port thing. Uh, Anyway, yeah, so you can play HDMI. Um, I'll, I'll put some bits of gameplay footage up from that I've done from that, just a few clips or whatever. So I'll also show off some games. There's something else that I bought, so it's, that's a surprise. But uh, these are some games that I just wanted to play. I just got an itch to play, um, or I just, I've just bought them. Um, so Star Wars Obi-Wan, um, I've mentioned this loads. So you can see, I. Uh, um, it, it's a game that um, I, I said before that I've, I've never played. So I'm, I'm really, I still haven't, proper, I've played it for like 10 minutes, but I've been doing so many other things recently uh, that I just haven't had a chance to play it properly yet. Uh, and I did talk about doing some reviews. So again, if you're interested in me doing reviews, uh, I, I might do kind of retrospective slash reviews. Um, it's going to take me a while to figure out my own style because I still don't know how I want to do it. Um, I might just kind of do it like this a little bit mixed with gameplay footage because I just want it to be different and I honestly if I'm honest I don't want to spend loads of time writing scripts so uh, and also you know this by now I love doing my comedic stuff um, if you haven't already can you check out my um, uh, the stupid things that I've done because of video games video it's honestly my favorite video I've ever made um, and I think it's silly, yes. It, maybe it's not your kind of thing. If I, I might not do so much of that kind of comedic stuff on here anymore uh, because that requires a lot more work. Uh, and so 
I can't, it's hard to do that plus play games and everything else. So anyway, do check it out because it's my favourite video. But thanks for all the views in my last video, my Xbox one, it's blown me away. Um, and it encouraged me to get this game as well, Star Wars uh, 3, uh, sorry, Star Wars 3, Star Wars Episode 3. Um, I've never played this either. And I've always, uh, so I haven't got any gameplay footage of this because I still haven't played it. Um, I look forward to checking this out. I know it's got the whole alternative ending things. Um, I'm honestly, it'll be a game that I'd probably want to review um, or do a, a video on. Um, as I said, um, I've, I've never, I've never, um, I, I, I still need to figure out how I'm going to do it, if I'm going to do it. Uh, never Dead is a game that I got on a 360 recently. Um, I found it quite cheap, even though I know this is a, a game that is quite expensive. I think it's about uh, 28 pounds um, on CEX but they didn't have any on stock last time I checked, so I got it elsewhere. Uh, I think it's about 50 pounds though on eBay. Um, so it's, it's, it's a good game, you know? It's a game that I have played before and I sold it, like I've mentioned in a previous video. I had loads of games, uh, I'll probably show it again if I can find the picture, loads of games and I sold them, and I mean so many games, and this is one of the games that I sold for like 50p, because I'm a, I was an absolute sausage, and then I had to pay 30 pounds for it uh, nowadays, and it's like, it's still like 35 pounds, but that's probably gonna go down with the, with the um, re remaster version coming out. Um, so, bear that in mind. Um, Alice Madness Returns, I bought that as well, because I'm a sausage, um, and I think this is, this is about 25 pounds in CEX, um, I can't remember what I paid, probably about similar. On eBay though, I think again, it's over like 35 pounds generally. Um, for that, uh, I've never played it. It's a game I probably, you know, would like to play. I bought this too, and I don't know why Saw 2, it's because I played a little bit of the Saw 1 again, and it made me want to play that entire game again, because I actually think that's a massively underrated game, Saw 2. Saw. But Saw 2, I heard, is terrible. So I just wanted to see if it is as terrible as everyone says. Um, this goes for between like 35 and 50 pounds on eBay. I don't know why it's so expensive. Why? I don't know. I have no idea why this is so expensive. If you can tell me in the comments why, um, yeah. Uh, but I st I've still got something exciting to come, so it's stay. Godfather 2 I bought. Look, you can see I paid eight pounds. Again, a game I probably sold for like 50p ages ago. I once played it online, really enjoyed it. Uh, never played the single player though, I don't think. I never played the online and got in trouble. I bought Full Auto. Uh, is it a game you've ever played? It's a game I again sold for about 50p. And I know I'm spending much more money to get them back. Don't do it, don't sell your stuff, man. If you've done it, you, you, can, you can probably relate, right? Uh, don't do it. I got Viet Cong Purple Haze uh, on the Xbox. I'm gonna play this. I wanted to play it years ago. And I never did, even though I had it and I sold it probably for about, let's get it right, 50p, yes, well done. Uh, Raw 2, which I have played a little bit of and I really don't, re I don't like it. Um, but <laughs> uh, I just can't get to grips with the controls at all. Um, but maybe I'll play it a bit more and enjoy it. I heard it had a good like kind of season mode. So I, I just want to be good enough to like, you know, win a match. Also the match I played in it lasts like 10 minutes. Uh, and it did my head in, so uh, I'll, I'll probably show a bit of footage and I lost I lost the match. That's probably why I hate it. Don't like losing. Oh, and lots of people keep mentioning about my hair. It's real, okay? Look, look, it's real. I can't get it off. It's not a wig. That hurt. So don't ask me to do that again. Uh, and Brute Force. So some people mentioned this one in the comments. Uh, I've got lots of the games that people had already mentioned. I just haven't played them, uh, some of the other ones. But uh, yeah, Brute Force, I picked that one up. I, I don't know how much that was now. Uh, looks fun. Uh, looks fun. Do you know what? The, the thing I was thinking is I had a lot of Xbox games back in the day. So I was thinking about it and I was thinking, why didn't I play some of these games? You know, Final Fight Streetwise, why didn't I play it? Um, and, and I realized it's because uh, I love playing online. Uh, and th this is one of the games, sorry for that noise. Uh, this is one of the games, uh, I wasn't gonna talk about it, uh, is Pandora Tomorrow. I've signed up to the Xbox Live thing, the Insignia. Um, so I could just maybe see if anyone's online playing that. When I checked it out, I was the only person. I went online, I was the only person online in the world playing it. Uh, 
but I definitely want to talk about this at one point. I've got so many memories and I think that's why I've enjoyed so much of my retro gaming journey at the moment is because of all of the wonderful kind of memories it brings back, the kind of the feelings, it just, games just seemed to focus on the fun then and people were trying things and it was different. And it resulted in me buying one of these, okay? Uh, because again, I know I can play them on my PS1, uh, sorry, I'm on my PS3, uh, spoiler alert, but I got one of these. I got one of these because I just, I like kind of the upscaled image that you can sometimes get with it. I know that it's quite limited, the upscaled image with this. Um, I do think it's a shame that the door, the, 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 that doesn't open, but um, I know there's a lot of jokes about this. Um, I know there's a lot of jokes about this, but um, I've, I've, re I've really liked what I've played of it so far. Now, I've got to be honest, uh, I haven't been playing the stock version. I've got a version with, uh, I, I don't know where it is. Uh, as I've got, a, it comes with, a, came with a hard drive. So I purchased one that, I can't find it, that came with a hard drive, it's been stolen. It's been stolen, mum. I, I, I bought a version that came with a hard drive uh, and 700 games. Uh, 700, 700 PlayStation 1 games. Of course, I own them all because I'm not a pirate. So I own them all, because uh, I wouldn't do that. Um, and of course, any any games that I don't own, I don't own on there. I, I would make sure that I, I delete. And I'm sure you would do that as well. But uh, again, I, I just like the fact that I can basically just hook this up and just play. And I I, I don't have to go and get the discs. A lot of mine are in the loft. Because 700 of them, of course. So. Uh, yeah, what PlayStation 1 games would you recommend me? I, I want to know in the comments, if you've got this far in the video, I'd love to know what PlayStation 1 games would you recommend me? And I'd tell you something, I've been playing some PlayStation 1 games that I haven't played for years, uh, and I forgot how fun. Do you know what, I, if I'm honest with you, the PlayStation 1, in many ways, is my favorite console because it, it just changed everything. It made, it, went, it made me go from someone who, I guess, kind of enjoyed playing video games to kind of love video games. You know, you're talking like Final Fantasy VII, Metal Gear Solid, Resident Evil. I mean, wow, so many phenomenal franchises. Well, obviously Final Fantasy wasn't born on, on, on PlayStation, but uh, it, it, I'd never played a Final Fantasy game until this, obviously the bigger one, came out uh, in the UK. Uh, and I loved it. Uh, I honestly, and I still do, I still love some of the games and there's still so many games that I've got which I haven't played. Um, and you know, I even, I, yeah, honestly, I just enjoyed playing this so much. Um, and you know, I mean, I, I, I played uh, a little bit of the Alien Trilogy recently uh, on the PS3, that was the PS3 version I used for the, for the video I made, the uh, uh, stupid things I've done because of video games. Oh, how influ yeah, video games have influenced me to stupid things, or whatever it was called. Um, and so, yeah, I did that on PS3, and I don't know, I'm buying too much stuff. I need to stop. Uh, I need help, okay? So, um, I'm telling you to recommend me to play games. I'm not going to buy any more games, because I've got all 700 <laughs> for PlayStation 1 games. <laughs> but... But what would you recommend in any of the consoles? Xbox, what would you say? Look, you need to play this. PS2, what would you suggest? And PS1. Uh, of course, PS3, 360. I've just got so many games to play and I don't know when I'm going to find time. <laughs> Thanks for watching and uh, I'm going to do a silly outro because I like to do that. <laughs>